It's time for another round of live, local, play-by-play -play coverage of Southwest Metro Sports on PSB Media. Taken away by Spinner, potential shorthanded opportunity. Here comes Steven Spinner, the captain. Shot, scores! Oh! Great blocks in front of him, just waits for him to develop, breaks an arm tackle, and he'll dive for the end zone. Watch the teamwork, tradition, and all-out competition unfold live on any streaming device. With it gives off for Zulstar through traffic. Here's an opportunity. Score! Oh boy. PSB Media's coverage of tonight's game is brought to you by The Malt Store, Umbria Gourmet Pizzeria, Athlete PT, Noodles and Company of Eden Prairie, The Sun Current, The Tavern on 4 and 5. And in partnership with Minnesota Football Magazine, the Pioneer Press, and BEC TV. And it drops! The game is over! Forrest Lake wins 1-0! In the bottom of the 10, Brett Gravel is the hero! Catch all of the action all season long on your home for Southwest Metro Sports. PSB Media. Brady Shue up from his defense. We'll leave it for Graham. Graham works his way and scores in overtime. Michael Graham with the game. Game time is coming up next. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hopkins Pavilion for a PSB broadcast between two late conference opponents, the Eden Prairie Eagles and the Hopkins Royals. Welcome to the broadcast, Kevin Ford with your coverage, Adam Wells on camera this afternoon. It'll be the first of two regular season matchups between these late conference foes. Hopkins has had some struggles in years past, but uh, at home the last two years have fared fairly well against these EP Eagles. Getting a tie and losing in overtime 3-2 to two in their previous two matchups. But dating back to the head-to-head -head matchups overall, the Hopkins Royals have not won a match against Eden Prairie since the two teamed up in the Lake Conference a few years ago. Playing into the near side boards, the Eden Prairie Eagles have it. Spencer Steen on that front starting line tonight with Mark Sullivan and Michael Graham. Again, Lee Smith switching up the lines. Last game, a 7-1 victory for Eden Brewery over Bloomington Jefferson. Uh, displacing Casey Middlestad and Michael Graham on that first unit as a shot goes up, and it's kicked aside by the goaltender, Crew Mitchell. Cleared out back to the point. Rail throws one in. It tucks away off a skate, chased down to the near side boards by Nolan Sullivan, it's poked out by the Royals and goes into the body of Casey Middlestad. Just underway here from the Hopkins Pavilion. Again, you're watching PSB Media. We can tweet out at you during intermission at PSBMN if you're interested in following. Hopkins Royals 11-6-1 this season. The first time they've been above 500 at this point in the year and uh, projected to finish above 500 since 2009. So an improved squad under the head coaching of Corey Peterson trying to make a name for themselves in a very stacked late conference. The Royals playing out of their own end, giving chase and tucking around the back side of the net. Austin Fisher fires a pass up. It's taken away by... Trumpy, he fires it back into the Hopkins end, giving chase and putting the pressure on the Hopkins Royals is Johannes trying to center a pass. Trumpy fanned on it, goes back out to the blue line, and Boldenau swings it back in. Now kicks over to Brady Shue, tries to make a move at center ice, loses the handle, and the Hopkins Royals and Eden Prairie Eagles just battling for puck possession at this point. Now it's intercepted. Michael Graham comes in on side. Good job by Spencer Steen to get back, but he can't make a move past the back line checking of Hunter Stack. Stack had two assists in the most recent contest for the Hopkins Royals, a 4-8 to eight loss to conference rival Edina. Firing a shot from the faceoff circle over on the far side. Lieberman had a shot blocked by the body of a Hopkins player. 
And for one of the first times this afternoon, the Royals hold the Eagles zone, taking a shot from the point. The shot goes in off of the deflection, and the Hopkins Royals take a 1-0 lead. So capitalizing on a mistake by the Eagles, and in a rare appearance in the zone, they score. So 13.54, looks like 3.06 into the first period. The Hopkins Royals have the advantage. Joe Nelson credited with the goal. His fourth goal of the season. And the Eagles now coming back this season when they don't score first. Their record is five and four. When they score first, they're six and three. So not too much of a distinction there, but the early lead given to the Royals nonetheless. On a scoring shot from the right point by Joe Nelson. Argetsinger down low. He's taken on two defenders and can't get the pass away. Now stick battling. Leaves it for Middlestad. Middlestad works his way in. Finds a backdoor feed to Rail. Can't handle the pass cleanly. Goes over to Argetsing on the near side. Now Johannes back behind the cage. Fiddling with it. Turns it over and sends it back to Middlestad. Middlestad pushed off his position. Now to the near side board. The shot from the point glove save made by Ku Mitchell. One to nothing. Hopkins with the advantage as you're watching PSD Media. off down in front of us it's going to be won by the Eagles Pizan comes in now Wesley Young pinned along the boards gives it to Pizan tries to wrap around and loses possession good pin and check on the near side boards Austin Fisher and Fisher zings it over to the far side and clears the zone for the Royals the Royals Nelson now into the offensive end struggling in a shot back door another score as Eden Prairie caught out of position again, and it's 2-0 Hopkins. Royals and li very limited opportunities. That one beautifully set up. Luke Nelson credited with the goal. And Webb Bolstad credited with the assist. Bolstad now with Five assists this season. Luke Nelson scoring for just the second time. A blue liner getting all the way up into the zone. And hammering one in on the back side. Now the Eagles playing from their own end. Another play out in front, and DeRocher able to cover it up this time. Face off. It's going out to the point. A shot redirected off the pad. It looks like of DeRocher able to make the save that time. It's been a bit of a struggle in net so far, and really not by his own doing. Just Hopkins has looked very good in their limited opportunities in the Eden Prairie end. 11.07 to play in the first period. 2-0 already Hopkins. 
looking to end a long losing streak to the Eagles, which does include some recent success here at the Pavilion, a tie and an overtime loss in the last two meetings over the last two years. Casey Middlestad leaves it for Argetsinger, turns the corner and a save made. On a quick wrister by Middlestad, Who Mitchell snares it. The Eagles 11 and 7 on this season. Hopkins 11, 6 and 1. So record-wise, pretty similar. But uh, if you look at for the advanced statistics, Eden Prairie is number six in the Let's Play Hockey rankings. Hopkins out of that ranking, and uh, as far as QRF points. If you take those as a blast goes just wide from Argetsinger, they would be somewhere around number 24 if uh, they had any impact on the overall Let's Play Hockey standings. But so far, the lower-ranked team, or unranked team as it were, is dominating on the scoreboard, leading 2 to nothing. Goals by Luke and Joe Nelson. Luke scoring at the 4.51 mark. A minute 45 after Joe Nelson scored, he fired his shot from the right side point. It looked like it deflected off a body of an Eagles player and then it hit off the inside pad of DeRocher and trickled into the net. So it's 2-0, 10.01 to play in the first period. Face off over on the far end. Kind of a steep angle for you viewing this afternoon at the Pavilion. Uh, we require power, and this is the only source of power. Even with extension cords, couldn't get a much better location. The Eagles trying to play a nice backhanded pass by Steen, but nobody home going through this slot. Instead, near side, Austin Fisher for the Royals has it. Tries a long pass up ahead. Got a piece of it, Peyton Volstad did. And that waved off the icing. As the Hopkins Royals reset from their own end. Good outlet pass, but then a turnover. Miscommunication offside, though, by Mark Sullivan as he was trying to take advantage of that Hopkins Royals mistake. Mentioning Eden Query being number six in the Let's Play Hockey Bowl, they've faced a lot of tough competition and you know, fared above 500 against them at 11 and 7, but their struggles have lied in the fact that they have not yet won a section game and they haven't won a late conference game either. Overall in the standings, as you look, 0 and 2 in section 6 AA. This is a section and conference game here against Hopkins and Eden Prairie. Still looking to win a section conference game. Again, I've mentioned those QRF standings. They, they hold some leverage in most of the sections, but not section six. That's where the coaches do the rankings at the end of the season and figure out the seeding. So, Eden Prairie, even though right now, based on the QRF, would still be the top seed. The coaches could take into consideration the fact, at least at this point, the Eagles haven't won a section game yet. 8.40 left in the first period, so almost about halfway through. Still 2-0 Hopkins. As Andy Aguilar plays it up ahead to Trumpy. Hit applied by Wesley Young into the back. Josh Lavin, excuse me, Noah Bragg. Trumpy trying to get it up ahead. He does Young, now Johannes. On this third line squad for the Eagles, trying to lift the Eagles here early on. A team that averages four goals per game, allows three. Already finding themselves trailing 2-0. They won their last game easily over Bloomington Jefferson as that backhander flicked up into the glove of DeRocher, easily 7-1. As I mentioned, Hopkins coming off an 8-4 defeat by Edina. Before that, 3-1 victory over Buffalo and back-to-back -back losses at Bloomington Jefferson, 2-3 and to Minnetonka, 6-3. So, both teams have had a few losses, a few more losses, I'd say, than wins 
during this uh, start to January as we worked our way now into conference play. Hopkins so far not carrying over any after effects from that 4-8 uh, loss to Edina playing strong, playing hurried and doing a good job getting great quality looks at DeRocher. That one a uh, flick in and DeRocher makes the glove hand save as into the offensive zone flew number 22, Riley Martin. 7.29 left in the first. I'd like to thank our sponsors, including Noodles and Company of Eden Prairie. They now have catering at Noodles. If you got any sort of events or want to get them catered for an upcoming broadcast, uh, whether it be here for our coverage on PSB, is that shot saved? made now another opportunity Graham couldn't get a clean look at it or the Super Bowl coming up in two Sundays think of noodles and company with thousands of different options and combinations from noodle dishes inspired from all over the world that's noodles and company one of our sponsors 652 left in the first Weaving in, a shot goes in, top shelf, and it's 3-0 Hopkins. What a play there. We'll try to get you the replay momentarily. Jonah Schumacher Gagnon with his 11th goal of the season, and it's 3 0 Hopkins. It's been a rough go of it for Eden Freary in the early goings. Shell shock to say the least, and Hopkins fans all amped up as they should be mentioned a number of times already in this broadcast the Eagles have owned the Royals in head-to-head -head matchups the last few years but credit to the Royals program for getting better and better slowly but surely since their last winning season in 2009 and now they're faring very well up 3-0 Jonas Schumacher Gagnon, excuse me, his 11th goal of the season, 23rd point. That's good for second best on the team. He had two assists in that loss to Edina and adding to his point total here in the first period. The Eagles, again, have had the puck in the Hopkins zone more than the other way around, but Hopkins has gotten excellent looks. Has the defense been a little bit slow to get back or not quite as tight and succinct, whereas Hopkins hasn't really allowed any grade-A scoring chances despite back-checking much of this game. 5.45 left in the first period. 3-0 home team Royals. As Sullivan comes in, he made offside. We'll have a face-off at neutral. Thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon. Tonight, another game we'll have coverage of. Doubleheader of sorts for Eden Prairie Hockey. It's the girls taking on the Edina Hornets. Live from the EP Community Center. Coverage begins right around 6.45, 6.50 for a 7 o'clock drop of the puck as the undefeated Eagles try to maintain that top seed and continue their success against the Edina Hornets. A big check heard some fans and some groans as well as Wesley Johnson was piled into the boards. A shot block. Johannes now driven into the near side boards. Two good checks in the past few minutes by Matt Hines, a senior defenseman. Hines is stationed just to the right of his goaltender. Trying to guard the slot. That's where the puck trickles. Kept in by Shue, but poked out 
by Webb Bolstad. He's already got an assist in this one. He assisted on the second goal of the game for Hopkins. Two from the Nelsons, one from Joe, the other from New Luke, excuse me. And the latest one from Jonas Schumacher Ganyan. Icing called on Eden Prairie in a faceoff forthcoming from their own end with 4.25 to play. Tavern on four and five is a great place to dine, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Happy hour as well. Right by the Eden Prairie Community Center and High School. Tavern on four and five has amazing burgers. Mouth-watering top is a shot, no shot. The goal was waved off. The goal waved off as the net came off its bearings right before the five-hole goal, which would have been scored by Joe Nelson. It would have been his second of the game. Instead, it's negated. And we have a face-off to the right side of DeRocher. So a lucky break there for Eden Prairie as DeRocher knocked off the goal from its mountings right before he gave up the rebound and score. And obviously, since it was an unintentional kick out, the referees, in my opinion, made a good call. Of course, Hopkins fans, you're watching, you're thinking, man, we could have run up the score even more in the first period, but still they're playing well. Perhaps they will with 3.51 left. And there's an opportunity and a score anyway. So just like that, the Hopkins Royals pouring it on in this first period add to this lead. It's now four to nothing. Looks like getting the goal, Nathan Nelson. I'll try to pull up that replay for you. Just give me a second. Looks like I just missed that. I apologize for Missing the replay there, but four to nothing. Hopkins with the advantage. As Nathan and Joe Nelson have scored in this one. I find that peculiar because their mom came up to me. I'm standing here on the landing just behind the bleachers where all the Hopkins fans are situated. And said, make sure you, you film my sons in number 28 and 19. So. We have indeed filmed their sons as both of them have scored a goal in this one. 4 nothing. a shot turned aside by the goaltender, Koo Mitchell. Another shot, stick save made again. Late penalty going to be called. And finally touching up the Royals. Looks like cross check going to be called against perhaps Matt Hines. He's the one sauntering over to the box. And he'll go in there, checking in over on the advertising. Cross-check penalty, the first penalty of the game. And Eden Prairie comes at a crucial time for them. They're, they're reeling defensively, looking for something offensively as well. Trying to change the momentum a bit in any way they can. Finding themselves shockingly trailing four to nothing. Still making a conversation, making conversation, I should say. Over on the far side, the referees look like they're explaining it to head coach Corey Peterson and his assistants, wanting some clarification on the penalty. Lee Smith will switch up some of his line. Bolden Al, Rail, Aguilar check out. It's Graham, Sullivan, Middlestad, Nolan Sullivan and Mark and Lieberman out on the ice for Eden Prairie. The faceoffs won. Middlestad leaves it for Lieberman. Takes a shot and a good save made by the goaltender. So a nice set piece off the faceoff. Eden Prairie had its best look perhaps of the game right there and trying to take advantage on this season. Eden Prairie very, very strong on the power play. 
I don't know about uh, across the city in 2A hockey, but 38.2% has got to be near the top. Two chances down low. Whistle and stoppage. Owen Sullivan bleeding his case that the puck was still loose, but once that referee can't see the puck anymore, he'll blow the whistle and does so. So no dice there for Nolan Sullivan. A couple of shots down low on that sequence by Middlestad. Lieberman pinching in, takes a shot, goes off Sullivan's foot. He tried to raise it to give some clearance for his blue liner, but ends up getting in the way of his teammate. 2.33 left in the first period. Four to nothing, the Eagles are trailing. Sullivan peels back, sends it out to the low slot. Now back, playing catch. Sullivan winds up and blasts that one wide. Now Lieberman has it again. Over to Sullivan. Back and forth they go, trying to inch their way down low. Using his skate, taking a shot and scoring is Casey Middlestad. The Eagles capitalize on the penalty. Assess to Matt Hines on the cross check and finally get on the scoreboard. It's four to one. Can't slow down that replay for some reason. Back to live action. This is a great setup. So Middlestad with the goal. Just writing this down, so bear with me. Assists to Mark Sullivan and Nikki Lieberman. It's now four to one. Giving chase and retrieving the puck, Riley Argetsinger with about 90 seconds left in this first period. Plays it over to Middlestad. He's got 19 goals on the season with that power play one. Lieberman's shot goes wide. Drilled into the boards, a shot down low, another save trickles out. A shot back door, a great stick save made by the goaltender as Argetsinger had a wide open pipe but couldn't punch it home. There's a finally a look at it. Just goes wide, back to live action with one minute exactly left, Louis Rail. Retrieves it down on the one end. Up ahead to Steen. Pass to Mark Sullivan. Tries to ward off the check. He's tied up. Giving help is Michael Graham. Sullivan takes a shot. That one goes just high. The goaltender in a crouch position. His top shelf where Sullivan was looking was open. Just couldn't get the accuracy down on the pivot. Through the slot. A great deflection out in front. As challenging it, Ku Mitchell, the goaltender, comes out and deflects the Michael Graham ride right by the hash marks. Four to one as the face-up, excuse me, will uh, stay in the Hopkins end with about 26 seconds left in period number one, a period that was absolutely dominated by the home team Royals. Get offside on the Eagles as the puck was hanging out just on the Royals line. Not much the Eagles could do with it. And then we'll have another face off. The mulch store is the key community resource for landscaping products and landscaping materials. It's not too early to think about spring, especially with this nice weather this time of year that we're enjoying here in the Twin Cities. Got four key Locations in Minnetrista, Rosemount, Shakopee, and Burnsville. And it can be a place where you drop off your compost and waste and or pick up what is dubbed the best compost in the Midwest. That's the mulch store, mulchstoremn.com. 
Tom. So after one period of play, the Hopkins Royals looking strong in leading the number six Eagles by a score of four to one. We'll come back in a few minutes for our first period analysis. Right after this, you're watching PSB Media. Great food and great sports. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. This season, the Tavern on 4 and 5 will be showing PSB broadcasts of Eden Prairie football and hockey on their big screen TVs. So make it a night out. Get some great food while watching your Eden Prairie Eagles at the Tavern on 4 and 5. Some of their classics include the Mediterranean Pizza, Tavern Turkey Burger, as well as delicious breakfasts that are served seven days a week. That's the Tavern on 4 and 5, just blocks from Eden Prairie High School. I wish it was spring. Hello, Carl. Whoa, who are you? I'm the Mulch Store Genie. Well, your entrance music makes you sound like an alien. We Mulch Store Genies survive on grass and compost, not snow and ice. If you're a genie, where's your lamp? Mulch store genies live. Never mind you. Let's get to the point. You had a wish for me, Carl. Yeah, I wished it would be spring. Your wish is my command. Sweet! This is much better. Wow, my lawn looks great, too. Indeed, Carl. That's the power of the mulch store genius. Thanks. Tell your friends of my mulching power. The mulch store. Granting beautiful lawn and landscaping wishes since 2000. Store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rosemount, and Shakopee. I really loved this book. Me too. What was your favorite part? The beginning? The beginning was good. Did anyone actually read the book? I really like this wine. You don't need a book club to drink wine with friends. Great wine and globally inspired food at Noodles & Company. Your World Kitchen. The Sun Current is proud to be your community news leader for over 50 years. Each week you can read their in-depth coverage on local government, school district news, high school sports matchups, community events, and newsmakers. The Sun Current's website is now mobile user friendly and provides breaking local news coverage daily. Check it out at current.mnsun.com. Hey, look, it's the same farm guy. Yeah, and he's discount double checking. Oh, Hans and Franz? Surprise. Well, here's another surprise for you. Muscle, 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 muscle. Hear me now and believe me later. You pumped up our wallets with the discount double checking, so we want to repay the favor and pump you up. Sorry, what? Pull us, you flabby loser! You'll thank us later. That's right. Double check your diet. Yeah. Right. Roll, roll, roll your ball. Gently down the loser stream. Oh, That's nice. what I'm talking about. Doesn't this hurt? Not with those puny arms. You don't just lift dumbbells, you drink them. Now, come on. That's right. Feel it. Hello, muscles. The whole thing? Yeah, when you're finished, you can eat this up, too. Congratulations, Aaron. You earned the suit. It's a start. Yeah, not bad. Really? Pump up your savings with a discount double check. Hi. Nice block, Adam. Get to a better state. State Farm. Shop and save with Brandy Warm Beer State Farm Insurance Office in Eden Prairie. A local connection at a lower cost. BrandyWarmBeer.com. 
Great food and great sports. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. This season, the Tavern on 4 and 5 will be showing several PSB broadcasts of Eden Prairie boys hockey on the big screen TVs. So make it a night out. Get some great food and watch the EP boys hockey team at the Tavern on 4 and 5. Some of their classics include the Mediterranean pizza, the Tavern turkey burger, and my personal favorite, the cheesy tater tots. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5, located just blocks from Eden Prairie High School. During this break in the action, I'd like to thank you for watching and ask for your assistance. In addition to live streaming games like this one, PSB Media also produces video commercials for clients. If someone you know is trying to grow their business, tell them to consider contacting production at PSBMN.com. The Internet is a powerful marketing tool. But due to its size, it can be difficult for messages to reach the right ears. Optimize their valuable time and money. PSB Video will help drive localized traffic to the client's website. Using keyword-driven content, PSB Video can improve where businesses appear in search results. Nearer to the top results means more clicks and more business. So please, tell those business owners you know to work smarter, not harder, by considering PSB Production. Find out more by emailing production at psbmn.com. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. <coughs> We're never having kids. <laughs> Hello, the ear. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Shop and save with Brandy Warm Beer State Farm Insurance Office in Eden Prairie. A local connection at a lower cost. BrandyWarmBeer.com And great sports. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. This season, the Tavern on 4 and 5 will be showing PSB broadcasts of Eden Prairie football and hockey on their big screen TVs. So make it a night out. Get some great food while watching your Eden Prairie Eagles at the Tavern on 4 and 5. Some of their classics include the Mediterranean Pizza, Tavern Turkey Burger, as well as delicious breakfasts that are served seven days a week. That's the Tavern on 4 and 5, just blocks from Eden Prairie High School. This is the best dirt bath ever. Larry, what's with all that racket? I'm loving my new digs. This compost is amazing. Come on in, give it a try. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. You weren't kidding, Larry. This stuff is great. The mulch store has compost your garden, and yes, even the worms will love it. Stop by any of the mulch store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rosemount, and Shakopee to pick up the best compost in the Midwest. Online at mulchstoremn.com. Also shop rocks, seed, soil, edging, and more. Now's the time to make your neighbors green with envy. Store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rose Mountain, Shakopee.
back here from the Hopkins Pavilion in Hopkins, Minnesota. Kevin Ford with your coverage to this afternoon, I should say, of Eden Prairie and Hopkins Lake Conference in Section 6AA Boys Hockey. Adam Wells on camera. Thanks so much for joining us. The Hopkins Royals haven't had too much success. In fact, none at all if you're counting wins since Eden Prairie joined the Lake Conference well, five years ago in these head-to-head -head matchups. But uh, so far in this one today, putting themselves in a great position to win for the first time against Eden Prairie again since that merge. In 2010, Hopkins getting goals early and often. While I would say, if you're just joining us, Eden Prairie probably one time of possession and time in the respective opponent's zone. It was Hopkins making the most of their chances, using some rushes, some runs, and a couple of lapses defensively by the Eagles to put up a four spot on a team that just allow us three goals for 51 minutes, three goals per game. Already given up four in just 17 minutes. Joe Nelson for Hopkins scored first at the 3.06 mark. Luke Nelson scored, and that was his second goal of the season on just an absolutely outstanding feed to the backside from Webb Bolstad. Bolstad was rushing in to the left faceoff circle from our vantage point, so the far side faceoff circle and tucked that one in through a defender's stick and passed to Rocher, the goaltender for the Eagles, to a wide open Luke Nelson backside. And the blue liner able to bang that one in for a 2 0 lead. At the 10 22 mark, jo Johannes, or Jonas, excuse me, Schumacher Ganyan scored by going top shelf. He split the crossbar and got it to redirect into the netting for his 11th goal of the season and make it 3-0. Hopkins' Nathan Nelson added what is his, looks like, eighth goal of the season. The junior scoring the fourth goal of the game for the Hopkins Royals about two minutes later, so at about the 12.30 mark of the first period. Casey Middlestad got the Eagles on the scoreboard Late in that first period on a power play opportunity. This power play unit is dynamite for the Eagles and provided a much needed boost for the Eagles as they now trail 4-1. to one. But finally can say they have the last goal. A change in goal for Sean DeRocher who came in at 8-5 and five with a 2.88 goals against average. Allowed those four first period goals. Wasn't seeing the puck all that well. Could have been five goals as actually uh, Joe Nelson appeared to have scored twice. As there's a shot a couple out in front and a couple saves made by Kuh Mitchell. Riley Argetsinger with the pressure through the slot. But DeRocher just was not on his game today. So Lee Smith going with his backup Nick Weinsek for the rest of the game. He's 3-2 with a 2.54 goals against and an 882 save percentage coming into play today. So overall numbers not too different than DeRocher's, but Weinsek has also not played the caliber of opponents DeRocher has competed against. So a big chance here for Weinsek to step up his game, try to hold his own and get some more recognition and to earn some more playing time. DeRocher and Weinsek Figure to be in the equation next year as well. Junior is DeRocher and Weinsek is a sophomore. 16-11, so just early on now in the second period. As the Eagles playing it. No brag. Penalty. A roughing penalty gives the Eagles another power play chance where they're one for one. This shot directed to the far side boards by the goaltender. Aguilar zips one in. Louis Rail looking for his first goal of the season. Tried to redirect that one down low. A slapper right on the glove side and into the hands of Kuh Mitchell, the captain. 
That one shot from the right side by Nolan Sullivan, Mark Sullivan rather. So both penalties in the game have been assessed to the Hopkins Royals. And Eden Prairie trying to stay hot on the man advantage and put another one in. Good look, but uh, just not quite executing. Nolan Sullivan trying to find Middlestad. Showing his way through the slot, but just off on the timing. Now Middlestad working, pushed along the end wall. Picking up the puck. Sullivan back to Middlestad. Sends it out, points. Shoe. Over to Lieberman, they'll have to reset as that pass off target. Backpedaling up ahead, Shoe. Centering pass, Argus Singer off his skates and cleared away and out by the Royals. So 46 seconds left on the man advantage for Eden Prairie. 14.57 showing on the second period clock. It's 4 to 1 Hopkins. As another faceoff coming to Ku Mitchell's right. Faceoff will be taken by the Eagles. Aguilar skips it along the boards. Graham down low. Rail. Rail trying to get the spacing right. Bolden out. Over to Aguilar. Flings one in and a save made. Faceoff. Graham. Looks like going against Nelson, who has one of the goals today, Nathan. He's the junior, his older brother. Also has a goal today, that's Joe Nelson. Her mom talked to me before the game and said, make sure you film both of my sons, number 28 and 19. They've stepped up their game, so we've had no choice but to film them. Each with those goals, as I mentioned. 14-20 is another save made. So the Eagles aren't scoring on this power play, but uh, again, doing a nice job getting some good looks on Ku Mitchell. Probably their best scoring chance, though, came when Middlestad flashed through the center, through the slot, and on a feed from Nolan Sullivan. Just couldn't quite catch up. The timing just a bit off. That one could have provided a goal but instead the Eagles still trying to get and move closer to the Hopkins Royals on the scoreboard trailing four to one however they'll have to do so at even strength as the penalty has just expired Royals Josh Lavin against Middlestad Middlestad will win it the Eagles have been Amazing throughout this season in this game as well at winning faceoffs and driving scoring chances, deriving scoring chances from those wins. A shot and a save made. Ku Mitchell under some pressure, but kept that one a soft pad kick away on the left side and able to keel over his lower body and cover it up. Just a reminder that we'll have coverage of Eden Prairie boys hockey all the rest of the games right here on PSB Media, PSBMN.com. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook as well at PSBMN. Facebook, it's just simply PSB. Find out some scoring information, recaps, and of course on our website we have archives of all these games as well. So. If your relative, friends, does something of note, goes for you Hopkins fans as well. We'll have coverage of the other Royals game against the Eagles too. And you can check us out and check out the video archives. 13.07 left in the second period. Wesley Young, he's going to be pinned up since face planting into the boards. Uh, he's still fighting in there with two Royals. A wraparound shot, Johannes, and it's covered up. Somehow, furtively getting through two Royals players, Johannes comes away with the puck and gets a look down low. Kumichel, great recognition there to make the stop. As you can see, just below our scoreboard, momentarily at least, the score 
Showing four to one, Hopkins is a shot from Johannes, another shot from Sullivan, and it's covered up by Key Mitchell. The Eagles dominating shot totals in this second period. I don't think Wysak's seen a look yet. He has, it's been just one, and we're already four and change gone by. The Royals finally clear. Back defensively, Aguilar and Michael Graham. Now Aguilar in a joust. It'll be taken by Nelson. Out to the point, a shot zipped in. A pad save, although a hesitant pad save made there by the sophomore. Goes out to number seven again. Austin Fisher leaves it. A shot never makes it through. Steen with the block. Now a shot pushed wide. This one again thrown in by the aggressor, Riley Martin, who is fighting after the puck on numerous occasions there. Icing whistled against Eden Prairie, and another face-off from their end. Athlete PT is the place to go in the golden triangle of Eden Prairie to help you get into championship shape before the season starts. Her mantra is that championships are won before the season starts. Of what I just said is you got to be in that uh, peak performance shape and it's not just for athletes over at Athlete PT Dr. Grant Norland physical therapist has a quarterback clinic and a golf swing program as well to improve your golf swing but uh, again the main skill set is getting you into your best performance and best shape of your life that's Dr. Grant Norland at Athlete PT. It works for people of all ages. Doesn't matter if you just want to you know, get in better shape for biking or you know, going up north in the summertime, going on long walks on the Paul Bunyan Trail or what have you. He can help you out. One more time, Athlete PT. That's AthletePTOnline.com. Johannes. And Joe Nelson facing it off. And another win up. Oh, it's going to be a one by the Royals who flew in there. Give credit to Luke Nelson for getting in there and taking the puck away. Eden Prairie kind of sat on their heels and watched Nelson make that move. And we get icing called as Nelson couldn't catch up to his own pass as he tried to play it ahead. Face off this time, excuse me, won by the Eagles. Out in front, Trumpy tries to get a shot away from a bouncing puck, but Kumichel there to make the stop. Again, apologize for a little bit of the goofy replay. Kind of jumping around and working the computer and doing play-by-play, -play, trying to troubleshoot through that for you. Provide some of these replays, and some of them just aren't cooperating. 11.05 left in the second period. It's still 4-1 Hopkins. They got the first four goals of the game. Eden Prairie responded on a power play late in the first. And it's 4-1. Big hit applied by Shu to a Royals player. Now going down unimpeded Michael Graham. As Hopkins players are sarcastically applauding that. Michael Graham, an outstanding player. Already committed to UMD as a junior. A rare slip up literally for him. Sullivan plays it in, just dumping and chasing on the line change. It'll be a full substitution for the Eagles. And an icing against the Royals. So the pace of this game has slowed down a little bit, especially from the Hopkins side. There's fans down in front of us, a packed Hopkins Pavilion. Very excited, standing up, applauding. It seemed like every couple of minutes when the Royals were scoring, they scored four times in a span of nine minutes, game minutes, that is, as that shot from Aguilar turned aside. They had plenty of reason to 
get their little squats in, going from a seated position to standing over and over again, but haven't really tested Weinsack, the new goaltender, after he spelled DeRocher after one period of play. Royals will look to change that. Try to put this game out of reach. It could become out of reach. Could they score one more time? It's good of the offense that the Eagles have. It'll be hard to foresee, at least probability-wise, the Eagles to come back from a four-goal deficit with less than half a game to play. Crazier things have happened, though. And it's still only a three goal difference. Johannes and Joe Nelson facing it off. Johannes battling, leaves it back, stolen away. Nelson, but a good back check by Lieberman to slow down Nelson and turn the puck over too. Now Wesley Young centering pass. Trumpy goes down in a heap. Plays it far side, near side boards now. Trickling away from the puck and taking a shot was Johannes. That one goes wide and high. Steers it aside. Now played it down low. Johannes and Wesley Young digging it in at the point is Rail. Bad pass though and Lieberman has to go back and retreat. He retrieves it, sends it up to Johannes off the shaft of his stick and plays it into the zone. Steen now with it. He's being guarded and pushed into the end wall. Looses the puck. Nelson. Forward pass to his teammate Nelson. Now a shot coming from Graham to flex out. Rail a little tardy in getting their backside. Playing from the blue line position. Didn't want to get too far up and so hesitated just a little bit. And for good reason. Not wanting to give up a good scoring chance going the other way. A cover up. Down low as Steen skates over the hand of Ku Mitchell who covers up a loose puck. 8.33 to play in the second. From Middlestad, puck still loose, and the whistle blown as the puck comes off its bearings. Ku Mitchell a little slow to get up. It was Middlestad and another Eden Prairie Eagle getting in there offensively. to the point. Rail loses the handle. Just dumps it back in once he repossesses the puck. Argett Singer centering pass. Stolen away. Here come the Royals. Skate in. Good at the line. Sends that one down low. Weinsek makes a pad save. Steers it a clear. As Riley Martin threw that one in. Martin with the puck again. Pushed off it. Now Rail with a check, lifts the body of Bolstad into the boards. Bolden out, heels back, finds Rail. Rail scoots the puck up ahead, Middlestad. Middlestad, board pass to Nolan Sullivan. He falls down to try to get the puck before the icing cannot make the play. And the Eagles will defend from their own end off his face off. Seven forty-two left in the second period of action from the Hopkins Pavilion. Face off, fighting Trumpy. Swings it out, sent back in by the Royals. Shoe to Lieberman, looking. Hard pass to Trumpy, scoots one along. Wesley Young. Seen a lot of playing time for this third line from Lee Smith's squad this afternoon. And they've played pretty well. They've warranted the playing time. Johannes leading this third unit. Wesley Young and Trumpy playing well as well. Johannes. 
tries to find Sullivan. Instead, the Royals take it. A long pass up ahead. Icing called off. As Brady Shue is being zoned out and turns the puck over on the line change. Just tried to clear his own end. A shot and a save made by Weinsack. That one ripped in by Hunter Stack, who had two assists the last time the Royals skated. A 4-8 setback to Edina. 11-6-1 is the record of the Hopkins Royals this season. 11-7 are the Eden Prairie Eagles. And Eden Prairie allows more than three goals. Record not terrible, but uh, as you'd expect, not good either. Just two wins this season. Michael Graham leaves it for rail. 6.07 to play in the second. Not too many good scoring chances over the last four or five minutes of action for either side. As both teams have steadied the mistakes have declined and the offenses have sputtered a little bit or just gone more through the motions as a result. A shot down low. Steen trying to get it through the body of Kumich. He'll do his nice job being aggressive and lowering his shoulder into the player. He makes a save on a wrister from Graham. Civilian used to be one of the coldest rinks where we would cover action for Eden Prairie. But uh, they've added these heaters right above us, so I'm not feeling too shabby. Certainly helps that for still being the month of January, it's in the high 30s today. It's a mixture of brown and snow if you're watching from out of the state. Giving you our uh, weather update in case you're interested. 5.14 left in the second period. Still 4-1. to one. Hopkins with the advantage. Argett Singer tries to get it to Shue. He'll backpedal off the body of Nelson. Trying to make a move down low. Riley Martin with the pressure. Misses on a check of Argett Singer. Up ahead, the outlet goes to Middlestad. He'll dance over to the left face-off circle, and a shot is saved by Ku Mitchell. So lots of shots taken by the Eagles, and lots of clean saves by Ku Mitchell in this second period. Riley Lieberman trying to wind up and set up a shot. It gets deflected off the stick of Luke Nelson who's got a goal, a very, or the second goal rather, of this contest. The 4.51 mark of the first period. Joe Nelson, brothers of Nathan Nelson, scored at the 3.06 mark of the first. Nathan added the fourth goal of the game and sandwiching the Luke and Nathan goals was Jonas schumacher Ganyan. The four scores for Hopkins. Casey Middlestad got a power play goal toward the end of the first period, and that's where we still stand. No scoring in this second. Vying for it, the Eagles. Three players in on the action. Trumpy pushes it along to the Hopkins zone. Johannes steered off the puck. Good check and body action by Hunter Stack. Now his teammate Nelson comes away with it. That's Joe up ahead to Luke. Soft pass is taken away by Lieberman. Now Wesley Young fires and goes just wide. He flew through the zone and had a good look at it, but couldn't get the accuracy pegged down. 3.41 left. Lieberman tries to undercut the defense. Now a spinning puck. Helicopters off to the side and wide. Brett Bolden now, fancy footwork, good feed up ahead. Graham tries to spin through off the crossbar. Is a shot from Mark Sullivan, and the Royals trying to clear their zone as Eden Prairie is turned into piranhas here. 
feisty and fighting for the loose puck. The Royals fans down in front of us applauding the effort of the Royals. Also have to applaud that the pipe was where it was, stationed in the perfect spot to prevent a Mark Sullivan goal. 3.16 left as play has started to pick up again in this closeout of the second period. Face off from the Eagles end, won by the Royals. Down low, Noah Bragg. Near side, that's going to be Josh Lavin. Down to Bragg. Beg your pardon, that's Schumacher Gagnon. Lavin pins and loses the handle. Going up ahead, Nolan Sullivan. Good dump and chase that was successful this time between Sullivan and Middlestad. But Sullivan taking on three players. Can't do the job. Middlestad finally comes in to help out. And he comes away with the puck. Centering pass. Sullivan can't get the stick unleashed. That's a great job defensively by Hunter Stack. Not to be cliche, but he stacked up the stick of Mark Sullivan, preventing a good look from the top of the crease. Eden Prairie. Right now. Playing down a man on a penalty, and Weinsack has to make a good save. Able to kick that one out, going pipe to pipe in the penalty box as that shot goes wide. Is Riley Argetsinger, excuse me, Andy Aguilar. With 147 left in the second period. Now fanning on the shot, coming through, Argetsinger. Try to skate ahead shorthanded. We've already seen a couple chances for the Eagles shorthanded. There's just 13 ticks on the power play left for Hopkins. This is their first chance of the game. Eden Prairie's 1-4-2. Argetsinger should be able to kill off the remainder of this one. The Royals from their own end as now we're back at even strength. And the Royals skating on the near side boards. Around the world pass. Picked up by Aguilar. He's on with it. Jams that one into the toes of a Royals player who gets the puck back. Now Weinsack mishandles it. There's an open net. Goes off the pipe. A shot goes wide as Weinsack probably should have just let that one be handled by his defense. Heads up play by Schumacher Gagnon, even though he didn't get the score and had pretty much an impossible angle just to fire it out center and hope one of his teammates could come up with a deflection or rebound. And that's exactly what happened, but the follow-up shot went high and wide, working in and into the body. The save made, Weinsek. Schumacher Gagnon looking for his second goal of the game. Blocked by Boldenow with 15 ticks in the second period. Sullivan swims around a defender. Centers, broken up. Michael Graham taken away. Final tick, end of the second period. Four to one, Hopkins still with the advantage. You're watching PSB Media's coverage of Lake Conference and Section 6AA Boys Hockey. We'll come back for second period analysis coming up right after this. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. <coughs> We're never having kids. <laughs> Hello, the ear. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there.
Shop and save with Brandy Warm Beer State Farm Insurance Office in Eden Prairie, a local connection at a lower cost. Brandywarmbeer.com. sports it's the tavern on four and five in eden prairie this season the tavern on four and five will be showing psb broadcasts of eden prairie football and hockey on their big screen tvs so make it a night out get some great food while watching your eden prairie eagles at the tavern on four and five some of their classics include the mediterranean pizza tavern turkey burger as well as delicious breakfasts that are served seven days a week that's the tavern on four and five just blocks from eden prairie high school This is the best dead bath ever. Larry, what's with all that racket? I'm loving my new digs. This compost is amazing. Come on in, give it a try. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you weren't kidding, Larry. This stuff is great. The mulch store has compost your garden, and yes, even the worms will love it. Stop by any of the mulch store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rosemount, and Shakopee to pick up the best compost in the Midwest. Online at mulchstoremn.com. Also shop rocks, seed, soil, edging, and more. Now's the time to make your neighbors green with envy. Store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rose Mountain, Shakopee. State Farm National Bureau of Assists agent Don Stockton has dished out more assists than anyone in history. Just like his twin brother, NBA legend John Stockton. Heat, rockets, bucks, pistons. Whatever you toss his way, he's beaten them all. Don't worry, we got you covered. <laughs> Thanks, Don. The best assist is born from experience. Shop and save with Brandy Warm Beer State Farm Insurance Office in Eden Prairie, a local connection at a lower cost. BrandyWarmBeer.com. During this break in the action, I'd like to thank you for watching and ask for your assistance. In addition to live streaming games like this one, PSB Media also produces video commercials for clients. If someone you know is trying to grow their business, tell them to consider contacting production at PSBMN.com. The internet is a powerful marketing tool, but due to its size it can be difficult for messages to reach the right ears. Optimize their valuable time and money. PSB Video will help drive localized traffic to the client's website. Using keyword driven content, PSB Video can improve where businesses appear in search results. Nearer to the top results means more clicks and more business. So please, tell those business owners you know to work smarter, not harder, by considering PSB Production. Find out more by emailing production at psbmn.com. 
stay current on what's going on in your local community. The Sun Current is a local community newspaper that serves several communities in the Southwest Metro, including Eden Prairie, Edina, and Bloomington. The Sun Current will keep you up to date with the latest comings and goings on your school board, city council, arts and entertainment, and community events. And make sure you check out their in-depth high school sports coverage featuring weekly articles on Eden Prairie, Edina, Jefferson, and Kennedy. From football and hockey to tennis and swimming, the Sun Current has your favorite team covered. Keep it local and visit the Sun Current website at current.mnsun.com. Back here at the Hopkins Ice Pavilion, Kevin Ford with your coverage of late conference boys hockey. After two periods of play, the Hopkins Royals, courtesy of four first period goals, lead Eden Prairie by a score of four to one. Joe Nelson, Luke Nelson, Jonas Schumacher Ganyan, and Nathan Nelson, all with the goals for Hopkins, Casey Middlestad, scoring for the 19th time, representing a team high. And as far as season totals, personal best of any of the individuals on the ice. 19th goal of the season, Michael Graham and he in that goal race for the Eagles this year. Coming in, each had 18, Michael Graham getting three in the most recent victory for the Eagles, seven to one over Bloomington Jefferson Thursday night to make his total 36 total points and 18 total goals for Graham. He has scored in every single game this season, be it registering a helper or a goal. So far tonight held off the scoreboard as Middlestad's goal was assisted by Mark Sullivan and Nikki Lieberman. So something to keep an eye out on for those streak watchers in this third period. Just like to make a note not only did Lee Smith switch up his lines prior to that Bloomington Jefferson game, but they had to make some additional changes as Tyler Safgren, who's got 12 points, a senior forward, is out today with the flu. So the lines were coming in. Sullivan, Middlestad, and Argett Singer. Sullivan, Graham, and Spencer Steen. Johannes, Wesley Young, Hugh Trumpy, and Hastings and Pizan kind of thrown in with a double shifting center a couple of shifts so far in this game hopkins has not had success against eden prairie as both have since both been members of the lake conference and has not they have not beaten uh, eden prairie in any of those head-to-head -head matchups although here at the ice pavilion the last two years losing 3-2 in overtime and tying 2-2, so making those steady improvements. And certainly uh, seeing success this season, the first time the Royals have been above 500. Since 2009, that was the last time they finished a season with a record above 500. Last year going 8-16-2, and, and this year almost turning it on its head, now 11-6-1. And one. And one and one so far. In section play, Eden Prairie, 11 and 7 overall, but 0 and 4 in section 6 AA. We'll have to get past the likes. They want to return to the state tournament of Minnetonka, who's been playing very well of late. Benil St. Margaret's, who's picked up their play a bit. Wyzetta, who also defeated the Eagles this season. Holy Family Catholic, Hopkins. And even the AC Wings, well, QRF not showing them as being a very strong team. Number 42 in 2AA. They are just 7 and 8 on the season. So nearly every team, 500 or better, in Section 6. Notoriously a strong section. And uh, nothing different this season. According to the Lex Play Hockey Polls, Lakeville North still holding on to all of the votes as the top ranked team in 2A, Edina number two, Hillmarie, St. Thomas Academy, and Minnetonka round out the top five, sitting just out the Eagles at six, Wyzetta seven, Blaine is number eight, Elk River Zimmerman number nine, and the Red Knights round out the top ten. White Bear Lake, Burnsville, Bemidji, 
Creighton Durham Hall and Holy Family Catholic comprised 11 through 15. And rounding out those in the rankings, Farmington, Moorhead, Prior Lake, Stillwater, and Lakeville South. We'll come back for the start of the third period. The Eagles 7-0-1 in their head-to-head -head matchups over the last few years with Hopkins at winning streak on the line here. We'll come back to the Hopkins Ice Pavilion momentarily. Great food and great sports. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. This season, the Tavern on 4 and 5 will be showing PSB broadcasts of Eden Prairie football and hockey on their big screen TVs. So make it a night out. Get some great food while watching your Eden Prairie Eagles at the Tavern on 4 and 5. Some of their classics include the Mediterranean Pizza, Tavern Turkey Burger, as well as delicious breakfasts that are served seven days a week. That's the Tavern on 4 and 5, just blocks from Eden Prairie High School. I wish it was spring. Hello, Carl. Whoa, who are you? I'm the Mulch Store Genie. Well, your entrance music makes you sound like an alien. We Mulch Store Genies survive on grass and compost, not snow and ice. If you're a genie, where's your lamp? Mulch Store Genies live... Never mind you. Let's get to the point. You had a wish for me, Carl. Yeah, I wished it would be spring. Your wish is my command. Sweet! This is much better. Wow, my lawn looks great, too. Indeed, Carl. That's the power of the Mulch Store Genius. Thanks. Tell your friends of my mulching power. The Mulch Store. Granting beautiful lawn and landscaping wishes since 2000. Store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rosemount, and Shakopee. I really loved this book. Me too. What was your favorite part? The beginning? The beginning was good. Did anyone actually read the book? I really like this wine. <laughs> you don't need a book club to drink wine with friends. Great wine and globally inspired food at Noodles & Company. Your World Kitchen. The Sun Current is proud to be your community news leader for over 50 years. Each week you can read their in-depth coverage on local government, school district news, high school sports matchups, community events, and newsmakers. The Sun Current's website is now mobile user friendly and provides breaking local news coverage daily. Check it out at current.mnsun.com. here at the Hopkins Ice Pavilion underway for the start of the third period. Face off one by the Eagles. Mark Sullivan has it poked out and away. A big hit applied by Hopkins Royal number 28 Nathan Nelson. He lost his stick as he put a hit on Brett Boldenow. Royals had success going to the far net in that first period. No goals on the near side post here, which is where the Eagles are directed now in the third period. Mark Sullivan kept alive by Nicky Lieberman, played in Bolden now. He'll go out on a change. Mark Sullivan through the slot. Argetsinger broken up, kept alive. Shoe 
Hacks at it, pokes it in. Taken away, Sullivan spins around. Can't get the shot away, it's intercepted cleanly. To Riley Martin, he is drilled by Brady's shoe. Just runs into a wall named Shoe there. One of the better open ice hits of the game. Casey Middlestad into the zone. Fires that one into the face mask of the defender who looked around. Alex Hoffman didn't seem too dazed, just trying to find where the puck was. As it went right off the cage in front of his face. So, you know, a lot of hockey players don't like having to wear the cage, but at least in Hoffman's case, it protected his mug. The visors are preferred. I know in the NHL they added those requirements after too many facial injuries, I think. What was that, like seven or eight years ago now? There's a shot and a score! On the left-handed shot of Andy Aguilar. And it'll be his first goal of this season coming in a big moment for the Eagles right through the slot. and Sullivan get credit with the assist. Another chance down low. Bolden out turned aside this time by Koo Mitchell. Michael Graham still looking to add to his point streak to start 2014-15. A point in every single game. It's now the 19th game of the season. Points in all 18 games prior. Shot turned aside. Stick by Koo Mitchell as the Eagles are putting on the pressure here to start the third, 14.37 to play. Play it down on the far side, the Eagles have it, and we get a whistle and stoppage of play. Fourteen twenty-three left in period number three. Eden Prairie, after giving up the game's first goals, have now scored two unanswered. And are trying to creep back on Hopkins. Don't count the Eagles out yet. They've, at least from my perspective, outplayed Hopkins now ever since they got that first goal back at the end of the first. But uh, too many men on the ice penalty for the Eagles. A bad mistake leaves them trying to fend off a two-minute power play. Hopkins 0 for 1 today on the season. The Royals 29.2%, so a very strong power play unit as well. Eden Prairie on the penalty kill. Not too shabby at 80%. Royals from the Eden Prairie end. Aguilar digging for the puck. Chips it along the near side wall to Middlestad. He ties it up in a nice bow and gets it out. A shorthanded chance for Sullivan. Rising up and making the glove save. Koo Mitchell will have a face off. So, wouldn't call it a mistake. More instinctive reaction right there for Koo Mitchell, but maybe. Didn't need to glove save that one. Could have let the play continue. As the Royals had numbers against just the one lone wolf, Sullivan, on the penalty kill. Instead, they are able to win the faceoff. We'll have to skate up the length of the ice to reset. Try to get in position to score a fifth goal. And first on the man advantage. Here comes a shot, and there is the goal. Snipering that one past Weinsek is number seven, Austin Fisher. Another defenseman getting in the scoring column for the Royals. 
and extending this lead back to three. So a big mistake on the Eagles. Too many men on the ice leads to a power play goal. Austin Fisher. Great save from Koo Mitchell. Mark Sullivan lined that one up on a tee and gave it a ride. Both teams, I guess, prefer going these respective directions as all of the seven goals have come. When Hopkins goes down to the right side and Eden Prairie plays toward the left. The way it is, Weinsack makes a save of a wrister from Riley Martin, looking for his 11th goal of the season. Face off, goes out to the point, taking a shot, redirect a shot, and a good stop by Michael Graham down to a knee to protect Weinsack, who is out of position. Now leaving it, shoe to Sullivan, and the third goal of the game is scored. Just like that, Eden Prairie responds back at this end. And a great feed from Brady Shue, rather than an out offensive explosion here over the last couple of seconds. So five to three, you're scoring out, 12-27 left. And the Royals have to remain aggressive as the Eagles have shown. They can score in a hurry. So can the Royals, but a two-goal difference isn't all that large. Holden Allen Shue, credited with the assists. Inside a 12 to play, Nolan Sullivan. Green's back, centering pass, a shot, great save by Ku Mitchell. On a one-timer from Middlestad. Middlestad takes the stick away from one player. Backhand goes wide from Sullivan. Middlestad working. Kicks it out to the point. And a snare out of the air. Margaret Singer you saw and Hunter Stack got tied up. Stack took a dive. No penalty called on either party. 11.30 left. Actually, they do get Argus Singer for the penalty. Spoke too soon. Good catch by our camera guy. So Hopkins, another chance to extend its lead back out to three. I have to say, if Hopkins were leading by three goals inside of probably the five-minute mark, they could start feeling more comfortable about ending this eight-game unbeaten streak, at least since the two parties joined the late conference. I didn't go back in the archives in preparing for this game farther back than 2008, so maybe that winning streak has been longer, or unbeaten streak has been longer for the Eagles. Needless to say, the Royals playing well today and trying to pick up a win in conference and section standings. Flex. Margaret Singer did get a roughing penalty on that takeout of Stack. Fisher, who has the most recent goal for the Royals on the power play, feeds it to Nelson. Up ahead, the pass too strong and a careless icing whistled against Hopkins. 11 minutes on the nose left in the third period. 126 on the power play. Face off. 
one by Hopkins. Sullivan playing aggressively. Can't chase down the puck handler, Matt Hines. Matt Hines around the world pass. Picked up by the Eagles, then turned over. Now kicked out of the zone. Here comes Michael Graham. Fakes the shot, takes it anyway. Down low, it kicks up off the heel of Kumichel. Graham still scoreless in this one. But loves that fake slap shot. And then tries to use the momentum to carry it around, to carry the puck around, that is, the defender. He'll switch out on a line change. He and Sullivan taking a breather with 10.30 left. Now up ahead, a possible two-on-one. There's a backside player. That's Josh Lavin. He'll receive the puck now. But the advantage is wasted. Good defense on the back check by Johannes. 10 minutes and 10 seconds left in the third. Still a power play chance for 32 more ticks. A shot fired in. Weinsek unable to make a play, but it goes through unimpeded off the net. 9.57 left in the game. The Royals still on the power play. Centering pass broken up. Shoe. Kept in the zone though, backhand, scoots through, unplayed. Off the wall, Trumpy sends it all the way down, Koo Mitchell outlets it to his teammate Hines, skating ahead, good at the line. Leaves it for his teammate Martin, Martin now tied up at the boards, gets it away, played back behind the cage rail, rail scoots it along. Finds Aguilar, picked up his first goal of the season moments ago. The second goal of the game for Eden Prairie. Mark Sullivan added a third. Both were even strength goals. Argett Singer to Nolan Sullivan. Nolan Sullivan avoids a check. Trying to find a rolling puck. Two players go down and are taken down. The rolling puck caused some difficulties for both parties. Now Aguilar trying to redirect with Sullivan. Didn't work. Now Sullivan waits for it. Gets inside positioning. Leaves it behind Argett Singer. A little pick from Sullivan. Centering pass. Middle dead trying to find a cutting Sullivan. But off the mark. Sullivan scoots it back to the point. Fires in off the backside of Sullivan. Down low behind the cage. Argett Singer makes a move. Unties his stick. Middle dead loops back around. Sends it back to the left point. Over to Middlestad. Middlestad clamping down toward the slot. Wings around to hit the body. Takes a shot from Aguilar. That one saved by Ku Mitchell. Over to the far side rail. Down low Sullivan. This is even strength. As the play finally cleared out by the Royals. And here comes Riley Martin. Back checking from Lieberman. It doesn't do the trick. Goes off the crossbar again. Weinsek threw up the glove but couldn't make the play. We've seen a couple posts hit so far in this game from Hopkins. And one also hit by the Eagles. So two to one pipe advantage for Hopkins. Not that either team wants to have that advantage. Rather have a goal advantage which the Royals also do. It's 5-3 as Boldenau's shot is saved by Ku Mitchell. 7.35 left in the third period. Mark Sullivan, who just scored, now has four goals this season. As I mentioned, Aguilar now up to one. And the other goal scorer for Eden Prairie, Casey Middlestad, has 19. Swings it along, taken out. Outlet pass, far side, the puck loose, tracked down by Lever excuse me, Leverman. Mark Sullivan off the body of Bolden out too strong and high. Over to Shue. Back to Grant. Graham toward the middle. Deflects. Kicks up high over the pipe. Mark Sullivan leaves it back for Aguilar. Nice job holding the line. Mark Sullivan down low. Puck still loose. Graham takes a shot and scores. So that scoring streak extended as Boldenau takes out the goaltender 
and Graham comes in backside and makes it five to four. And the Hopkins Royals fans quiet a little bit. Because again, we're having some goofy things going on with the uh, replay. Can't really see at that speed. But it's five to four, as it was an excellent job by Boldenow. He clamped down right in front of the crease as a timeout's been called on the ice, 6.57 left. Took on the goaltender and a defender, took them out of the play. Graham kept digging for the puck, trickled out in front of the crease, made a move around the last standing Hopkins defender, and buried it high. For Graham tying Casey Middlestad's 19 goals with his 19th, and again, as I mentioned, extending his point scoring streak now to the first 19 games of this season. A face off forthcoming from center ice as this game is brought to you by the Sun Current of Eden Prairie. Find all the latest news and features, stories, recaps as well at current.mnsun.com. Would be a great comeback for the Eagles should they finish it off. It would also be a great win for the Royals should they hold on. 0-7 and 1. The past eight meetings between the Eagles and the Royals. down low. This third period has been the Eagles as there's a chance down low. Nolan Sullivan can't get the stick on it. Takes a shot and scores the equalizer. Just outside the hash marks and it's tied 5-5. Five to five. Oh my. Hopkins got that fifth goal of the game to make it 5-2. Thought maybe the steam taken out of this Eagles comeback, but that just motivated them even further as they've scored three unanswered goals. Nolan Sullivan, the equalizer, and we're knotted at fives with 6.23 left in the third period. down low the Hopkins Royals trying to clear their own end give some space to Ku Mitchell who played very well through the first two periods but has just seen too much heavy pressure as another wraparound shot from Michael Graham broken up Mark Sullivan goes down in a heap looking at the referee wanting a penalty he and his opposition Matt Hines are the little shimmy shoulder behind the play the Hopkins Royals We'll just dump it in as they switch up their lines. Shell-shocked, I would say, just as the Eagles felt in the first period when they allowed the first four goals of the game. It's been a back-and-forth dynamic game, to say the least. Certainly enjoyable to call. A penalty going to be assessed to the Eagles, and this is going to be a big one, possibly, as Hopkins needs some sort of motivation to try to collect themselves and possibly stage a game-winning wi game goal here in the final 5-15. They'll get the power play right now. Sullivan gets a slashing penalty. So he's a key cog normally on the uh, special teams. 
And now out with a slashing penalty, so a big chance for Hopkins right here. And uh, on the second penalty of the game, the one that the Royals scored on, it was Michael Graham in the penalty box. Again, another key cog on special teams for the Eagles. The Royals able to take advantage. We'll see what they do here. Haven't had too much pressure on Weinsack in this third period. But great opportunity as a successful power play unit. Fires one in. That one turned aside by Weinsack. Played in the far side. That's Hines back out to the point. Playing catch with Stack. Hines down low. Deflects high. And taken back out to the point. Hines with it. Over to Stack. And we get a whistle and stoppage. Looks like the... I'm not sure what the whistle was for. We'll have a face-off at neutral ice with 4.18 left in this third period of a 5-5 tie game now. Hopkins on the power play for another minute. Down low, working with it. Fisher takes a shot. Puck still loose. Fighting for it. Bolstad puts it on the body. The stick takes a shot. Extracurricular activity. A fight starts to break out. Referees quick to intervene and stop anything from escalating as all the youngsters down in front of us for Hopkins get up and they were trying to egg on the teams to get some action in, but uh, credit the officials for stopping that one before anything escalated too badly. Both these teams wanting this late conference, wanting this section victory. It's been an excellent back and forth game. Credit to the Hopkins Royals for the quick start and to the Eagles for never relenting and fighting their way back. Again, doesn't always mean the end result will be a victory, but overall in this game, Eden Prairie has really dominated the puck possession and shots on goal, but they had to fight their way back from a huge deficit of 4-0. Now Brady Shue works in, tries a dipsy do, able to turn it aside. Kuh Mitchell. He was he lost where the puck was on the play, but held his own very well. She has made a couple of nice series of moves down low in this third. Three minutes and change in the third. Aguilar, and that one knifed in to the net of Kumich for the save. Nolan Sullivan facing it off against number 18, Lavin. Middlestad able to hold the line, takes a shot, another save, and another face-off forthcoming. Sponsorship of this afternoon's game is brought to you by Brandy Warm Beer, your local State Farm agent in the Eden Prairie area on Single Tree Road right by the Eden Prairie Center. He will get you the best deals and great bundled packages on home, auto, and other types of insurance as well. I personally shopped with her and got the best deal on a bundled package. So check out Brandy Warbeer, your local Eden Prairie connection at State Farm. Casey Middlestad, Lieberman, redirect, goes wide. Argett Singer a little slow to get up as he got shimmied in the lower back, but appears to be okay. Brady Shue clamps down, takes a shot and a save again, made by Ku Mitchell. I don't have the totals, shots on goal category for you. Those metrics not available to me. I missed them on the PA announcers mentioned them, but uh, certainly it's been a great effort for the Eden Prairie Eagles in that department. Mark Sullivan, who has a goal. It kind of started this comeback. 
After they were trailing 5-2, he scored the first of now three unanswered goals. Michael Graham and Nolan Sullivan, Mark's brother, also with goals in response. Puck played off the net inside of two to play of this 5-5 five five contest. Michael Graham leaves it and a shot is saved. Sullivan had a chance to wind it up and pound it into the body of Ku Mitchell, but he's there to make the stop. Graham fighting for the face off, a rare loss for him. And the Royals able to clear it out. Eagles retreat to their own end. Boldenau turns it over. Fisher, he had the fifth goal of this game for the Royals. The only goal they've scored since the first period. And that one jackknifes in onto the upper arm where it registers off a of Mitchell. Mark Sullivan has had an outstanding game today. Still five to five with about 90 ticks of the clock left now as Eden Prairie is pretty much talked with the landlord and opened up a leasing agreement to station themselves and live down in the Hopkins end in this third period. They've got four of the five total goals as Sullivan clamps down, tries to take a shot, puts it on the backside of the net. Argetsinger there to pick it up. Now turning it over. The Hopkins Royals going in two on three. Cross ice pass to Bragg. Sent around the wing. A shot goes wide. That one thrown down by Schumacher Gagnon. Now the Eagles come back. Their rebuttal. Behind the back pass. Middlestad feeds it down low. Sullivan. Argetsinger there. Back to Middlestad. Leaves it to the point. Shot fired in and a chest gobble by the goaltender. Like he was drinking a bowl of soup as that one came up, ladle and all, near his mouth and able to caress it with both hands. 43.3 ticks left in the third of this wild game from the Hopkins Pavilion. Late Conference and Section 6 action brought to you by PSB Media and our sponsors, including the Tavern on 4 and 5. If you want the best homemade recipe tots, potato puffs, whatever you want to call them, I have ever experienced, go to the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. 30 seconds left in the third. Icing whistled against the Royals. Another face-off from their end. As they have just not found an answer, haven't been able to get anything going. Ever since that uh, goalie substitution, the Rocher for Weinsack, it seems like the defense has picked it up. Everyone's picked up their play. Down low, puck still loose, goes out to the point. Rail fires it in, blocked by the Royals. And putting a shot in on Weinsack will wave off icing inside a 10 to play. The Royals maybe one last chance. No puck goes out to neutral. Michael Graham to Mark Sullivan. The shot and a save right before the end of the period. We are headed to overtime. What a comeback by Eden Prairie to score three unanswered goals in the final nine minutes of this third period to tie it up at five. And for the third consecutive year, from the Ice Pavilion in Hopkins, the Eagles and the Royals will skate in overtime. We'll come back for the start of this extra period as you're watching PSB Media. Great food and great sports. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. This season, the Tavern on 4 and 5 will be showing PSB broadcasts of Eden Prairie football and hockey on their big screen TVs. So make it a night out. Get some great food while watching your Eden Prairie Eagles at the Tavern on 4 and 5. Some of their classics include the Mediterranean Pizza, Tavern Turkey Burger, as well as delicious breakfasts that are served seven days a week. That's the Tavern on 4 and 5, just blocks from Eden Prairie High School. I wish it was spring. Hello, Carl. Whoa, who are you? 
I'm the Mulch Store Genie. Well, your entrance music makes you sound like an alien. We Mulch Store Genies survive on grass and compost, not snow and ice. If you're a genie, where's your lamp? Mulch Store Genies live... Never mind you. Let's get to the point. You had a wish for me, Carl. Yeah, I wished it would be spring. Your wish is my command. Sweet! This is much better. Wow, my lawn looks great, too. Indeed, Carl. That's the power of the mulch store genius. Thanks. Tell your friends of my mulching power. The Mulch Store. Granting beautiful lawn and landscaping wishes since 2000. Store locations in Burnsville, Minnetrista, Rosemount, and Shakopee. I really loved this book. Me too. What was your favorite part? The beginning? The beginning was good. Did anyone actually read the book? I really like this wine. <laughs> you don't need a book club to drink wine with friends. Great wine and globally inspired food at Noodles and Company. Your World Kitchen. Starting overtime, the Eagles have it to take a shot. Koo Mitchell makes the save on a ride provided by Brady Shue. If you're just joining us, it's been a back and forth game. Not really, actually not really back and forth. It's just been a lot of Hopkins and then a lot of Eden Prairie to come back as a stab made out of the air to snatch that face-off win shot from Mark Sullivan, who's been all over the ice. Don't again have those statistics for you, but he's had to have at least five to ten shots, probably closer to ten shots in on Ku Mitchell in this game, including his fourth goal of the season. Michael Graham, part of this comeback, continuing his point streak now at 19 consecutive games in 19 to start this 2014-15 year with at least a point and has 19 goals as well. Nolan Sullivan getting in on the action and Andy Aguilar, the four goal scorers for the Eagles in that third period as Eden Prairie came back from what once was a 4-0 deficit. At one point, a 4-1 deficit and 5-2 deficit to tie this one and send it to overtime. The game winner opportunity goes wide. That one fired in by Noah Bragg. As Weinsek spilled Sean DeRocher, who exited after a rough go of it, just one period of play, allowing four of the goals. Weinsek has done a steady job, but it's been the play of the Eagles. Just dominating possession, rebound out in front, the puck loose, covering it up. Ku Mitchell on his hip makes the save with 6.30 left in overtime. As I mentioned, Weinsek has only been tested just a bit. He's had to stave off a little bit of pressure, but the story has been Eden Prairie has just taken over possession of this puck. It started in the second period where they outshot the Hopkins Royals 2-1. to one. And then third, offensive explosion finally testing Ku Mitchell time and time again. So many looks down in front of the crease. And he just couldn't make enough saves as the Eagles battled back. Five to five year score as I've mentioned. And in case you're new to the broadcast, I'll mention it again. That these two teams have played to overtime now three consecutive matchups here from the pavilion. So something about home ice for the Royals brings out the best in them. And the Eagles have been victorious one of the two previous times, they skated to a 2-2 tie as well. As the net comes off its mountings, we have a stoppage. This game brought to you by Athlete PT, championships won before the season begin. 
the Golden Triangle of Eden Prairie. Dr. Grant Norland can get you into the best shape of your life. AthletePCOnline.com. Face off one. Here comes Middlestad. Tries to dipsy do. Turned over. Good stick check by Alex Hoffman. Now puck loose. Trying to give chase. Taken by Bragg. Up ahead, looking for his teammate, finds Schumacher Gagnon, leaves it behind for Bragg. Buck still loose, tied up with the stick. Lavin couldn't get a shot away. Great job by Lieberman. Now to Lieberman. Will take a shot and a save made by the goaltender for the Royals. A blast provided by Lieberman. As these teams play... Some more back and forth action in this overtime session. Great turnout on hand. Not a huge set of bleachers here from the pavilion, but pretty much every single space is occupied. Fans winding up in every single glass panel around either side of the seating area. They wanna watch a Hopkins Royals victory coming out in droves this season due to the success of the Royals 11-6-1 the first time since 09 that they've been above 500 this late in the season and with 435 left just one goal away from a big step toward moving into consideration for being one of the competitors in this late conference some call them the laughing stock. A chance down low. Puck comes, or net comes off its bearings, it looked like, at a very opportune time as Michael Graham was flying through the slot preparing to thwack one in at Ku Mitchell. 4.17 to play. And follow us on Twitter at PSBMN, Facebook, PSB. If you're a Hopkins fan, thank you so much for tuning in and finding our coverage. We'll have coverage of the other game between these two teams later on this season. For Hopkins, they next take on YZ on Thursday. Then Saturday at Minnetonka and to start February at Holy Family. So I wouldn't say the most difficult road ahead, but three very challenging opponents all ranked in the top 15 up ahead for Hopkins. Getting this victory or even skating to a tie here today would be progress to help them. As there's a rebound out in front, shoe in great position, tied up. The stick of Noah Bragg. Michael Graham up ahead. Sullivan, a shot and save by Ku Mitchell. Three thirty four. Three thirty four left in the overtime period. Kevin Ford with your coverage. Brady Shue. He set up the third goal of the game. Scored by Mark Sullivan. Played behind Lieberman and taken away by the Royals. Icing will be whistled against Hopkins with 3.15 left in the overtime session. Coming up next for Eden Prairie, games will all or will have coverage of all of these games on PSB. Thursday, January 29th versus Edina, then again versus Hopkins. Excuse me, YZ will be um, on Saturday, January 31st. Then Tuesday, February 3rd at Benilde St. Margaret's and at Minnetonka on February 5th. 2.55 left as the Royals, a big hit and open ice. Louis Rail drives back. Joan Elson, who's got a goal in this one, that came all the way back at the 3.06 mark of the first period for Nelson, his fourth goal of the year. 
Rail zips it around. Played out towards center. Kept alive in the zone by the Hopkins Royals Bragg. Down low, that's Lavin. Lavin turns it over. Andy Aguilar outlets it. Bolden now up ahead. Great vision. Mark Sullivan leaves it behind. Graham skates in. Takes a shot. Makes a save. Ku Mitchell with 2.12 left. Off one by the Eagles. Two minutes left in this overtime period. The Eagles have not tied a game yet. In overtime, they are 0-2 this season, including a loss against YZ. Spinning around, middle stat, great reaching save by the goaltender, Ku Mitchell. He's played very well today. Again, just that heavy barrage of pressure. Defense not helping him out and Credit to this Eagles offense for coming to life in that third period, allowing four goals. However, with the activity he's seen in the high-level scoring chances, Ku Mitchell has fared pretty well. The Royals, good at the line, trying to make a move, taking a shot, save made by Weinsek. Able to hold his own with the right pad. Good effort there by Nathan Nelson looking for the game winner. For Nathan, two game winners this season wanted that trifecta shot barrier blasted wide. You can call it buried. He only saved that in a goal scoring chance, but shoes shot. Karam's back and we'll have another face off with 60, 77 seconds left doing my correct math. 117 showing. On the clock, Hopkins one tie. They also have played in a number of overtime games as the puck is still loose out in front. Able to finally retrieve and steer it away from danger. The Royals send it on up. Aguilar cuts it down. Now puck skips into Weinsack. He drops it for rail. Inside of a minute to play with Aguilar skating ahead. Outlets it to Middlestad. Middlestad to Graham, teaming up, back door, the shot scored! Mark Sullivan with the game-winning goal at the 7-13 mark of overtime. And the Eden Prairie Eagles come away victorious over the Hopkins Royals. A heartbreaking loss for Hopkins after they had built a first period 4-0 lead. It's Mark Sullivan with the game winner his fifth of the season, second of the game, and first game winner in 2014-15. He was phenomenal all afternoon, and it's no surprise in some ways that he's the one who buries the winner. We'll come back for the Sun Current post-game show as you're watching PSB Media. Again, the Eden Prairie Eagles win in overtime, 6-5. Stay current on what's going on in your local community. The Sun Current is a local community newspaper that serves several communities in the Southwest Metro, including Eden Prairie, Edina, and Bloomington. The Sun Current will keep you up to date with the latest comings and goings on your school board, city council, arts and entertainment, and community events. And make sure you check out their in-depth high school sports coverage featuring weekly articles on Eden Prairie, Edina, Jefferson, and Kennedy. From football and hockey to tennis and swimming, the Sun Current has your favorite team covered. Keep it local and visit the Sun Current website at current.mnsun.com. Final score here from the Hopkins Pavilion, 6-5. to five. Eden Prairie able to come away with the victory. Have to fix our own personal scoreboard there, not to confuse you. As the Eagles battle back, they gave up four first period goals, were trailing four to nothing. Jazzed were the Hopkins Royals fans, and why shouldn't they be? They were out playing a top six ranked team in 2A hockey and making a name for themselves in their strongest season since 09. Leading the Eagles six or four to nothing, but 
credit the Eagles making the goal change after one period, spelling DeRocher with Weinsack. He was solid. The defense picked up their play, and the offense peppered Koo Mitchell all game long. So this Sun Current post game show brought to you by the Sun Current of Eden Prairie. Find all your news, sports, highlights, feature information online at current.mnsun.com or if your local copy of the paper distributed every Thursday serving the Eden Prairie community for more than 30 years. That's the Sun Current of Eden Prairie. And uh, what an afternoon for boys hockey. Eden Prairie victorious. Just going over the scoring summary. Won't break down in the time or anything as there's plenty to talk about. Uh, Joe Nelson, Luke Nelson, Jonas Schumacher, Ganyan, and Nathan Nelson all with goals in the first period for Hopkins. Casey Middlestad got the Eagles on the scoreboard and it seemed like that was going to be a huge goal. At the time, the Eagles not really doing anything, reeling from four straight goals. The Hopkins fans and players into it. But Cooley Middlestad able to perform on the power play where the Eagles have been so successful this season. It was assisted by Mark Sullivan and Nicky Lieberman. Well, it did wind up being an important goal because while there was no scoring in the second period, the third period saw Andy Aguilar score in the slot from Middlestad, a good assist. Mark Sullivan in on the action to make it 4-2. to two. It was a big goal then, a power play after too many men on the ice for the Eagles. Hopkins capitalized and a goal was scored by Austin Fisher. And you thought maybe, if you're a Hopkins fan, 5-2 to two would be good enough. It was at about the 12-20 mark. The Eagles, though, kept battling, kept dominating. They literally were making a living in the Hopkins end for the final 12 minutes of that third period. And that just proved to be too much as Mark Sullivan... Michael Graham and Nolan Sullivan scored back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back goals to send this one to overtime. After a back-and-forth start to the overtime period, Mark Sullivan took a feed and took it top shelf to beat Koo Mitchell for the winner, as you can see, with 7-13 into the overtime. So the Eagles moved to 12-7 and seven on the season, a big, possibly changing victory for them as they get a dramatic come from behind victory and a heartbreaking loss for the Royals who now drop to 0-8-1 against Eden Prairie in their last nine contests and in overtime Hopkins falls now to 1-4-1 thanks so much for tuning in this afternoon again tonight coming up in two hours we'll have live coverage of Eden Prairie Edina girls hockey for now the Eagles celebrate the shocking victory over Hopkins in overtime, 6-5. to five. For Adam Wells and Kevin Ford and everyone at PSB Media, thanks so much for tuning in. And again, tune in later on tonight. Have a good rest of your afternoon and evening, and thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to live, local, play-by-play -play coverage of tonight's game. Catch all the action all season long on your home for Southwest Metro Sports, PSB Media. Tonight's game was brought to you by The Malt Store, Umbria Gourmet Pizzeria, Athlete PT, Noodles and Company of Eden Prairie, The Sun Current, The Tavern on 4 and 5, and in partnership with Minnesota Football Magazine, The Pioneer Press, and BEC TV. You can find an archived broadcast of tonight's game available 24-7 on PSVMN.com.